In this clip, we'll talk about discrete random variables. So recall that we have we have an experiment, and we get an outcome. Okay. So when we when we have an outcome at hand, we can talk about something about it. We talk about uh, we can talk about it. Okay. So suppose I have uh, I have a coin, a fair coin, and I make two coin tosses. Okay. Now, if if I know the results, so there are four possible results, right? I can talk about like so there are many things that I can talk about, like number of hit that I get. So I get two in that case. I get one in that case. I get one, and I get zero in this ca that case. I can also talk about uh, like the square of the number of hits. So that would be four, one, one, zero. And and if you look at this, these are what are these? So these are the, the function from the outcome, right? From the outcome, we can figure out some some numbers, right? And 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 and, and th th these are example of uh, random variables, okay? So um, the the. the uh, so, so what's the, the definition of a, a, a random variable is? So a random variable, if we refer to that RV, random variable, is a function. So it, it's a variable, right? But, but it's a variable that we would know the, its value when, when we know the outcome, right? So, so a random variable is, is basically a function from the sample space to uh, it can be many things like a graph can be a random variable but but in our case we usually talk about a random variable from the uh, as a function from the sample space to a real number number okay it, and and in this case uh if we know the uh, the outcome, we know the we know the value of the 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 function. All right. Now suppose uh, suppose that we don't we don't know the sup suppose we we haven't performed the experiment. Okay. We have th we have the model of the experiment like like this. Uh, I I make two coitosis, and then I know that I know the value of the the, f the random variable for every possible outcomes. What can we say about about this random variables? Okay, so probability is, in a way, is 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 is, is about this. It's about analyzing this these random variables. Okay, so one thing uh, we we will talk about the definition later. But one thing we can talk about is the expected value. Of these uh, random variables. Now, so what 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 does expected means, right? So so suppose that we know, be, suppose we we make uh, two coin tosses from a fair coin. From from the previous preview, we know that the probability that we get each outcome is one over four, right? One fourth, right? So what is the expected value? So an expected value is basically the average of this uh, possible value of the variables, okay, weighted by the probability that you get this var this value, okay. So from that definition, you can calculate the the uh, prob uh, expected value of the number of hits to be. Uh, so you multiply. So you, this is weighted by one over four, one over four, one over four, and one over four. So you get. Uh, one over four, two over four plus one over four, one fourth plus zero over four, and that's uh, what one half. So this is one. 
And in this case, uh, you can also figure out the expected value of the square of the number of heads. So same thing, okay, 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 4 over 4. So that's uh, 1.5, okay? So that's, that's the expected value. All right, so let's talk about the, the formal definitions. All right, so we have a random variables, and, and, and we can, one thing that we can do with the random variable is to define an event based on, on, on this, uh, based on the random variable. So suppose we have, suppose x, let x be a random variable. Okay, we can talk about the case when x equals a maybe, right? So so when we talk about when we look at the case when x equals a, that's somehow that's define an event, right? So it's a set of all samples, uh, all, all the outcomes, uh, whose uh, where where x equals a, right? So we can talk about this. So this is the sum of every sample point where x x remember x is a, is a function right so x s small s right equals a so it's the sum of that right so it's that that's one thing that we can talk about right we can talk about the the probability of this event so this define an event Okay, we can talk about so so if we come back so let let's look at one example. So let y random variable y r e y equals the number of heads from uh, two fair coin tosses. Okay, so what is the probability that y is two? So that's one fourth, right? So that's that's the 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 outcome where you get uh, both heads, and we can talk about probability that y equals one. So that's one half. All right, so that's that's the uh, that's the event and probability of the value of the the random variables all right so let's define expectations from this so for a random variable random variable x so the expected value of x, so denoted by E of x, is just the uh, average, average. Uh, so x take the value from minus infinity to, to infinity. So x, x is a discrete uh, uh, random variable. So we usually assume that it's uh, from uh, minus uh, infinity to infinities. And x is usually is an integer, so we, we use this sum, okay? So that's the value of x. So i is the value of x times the probability that, that x equals i. So that's, that's the expected value. That's the def definition. Let's look at a more example. So suppose I have uh, three bins. So these are the bins. Okay. And then I have uh, three balls. I would like to throw to, <coughs> to these bins. Okay. Um, 
Suppose that all the balls are indistinguishable. All right. So let's look at the all the possible outcomes. Okay. So um, the first bin might. So let, let's think of it this way. So uh, so let me write the number of balls in each bin. So the first bin might get might get zero ball, right? And then uh, the second bin might get zero ball, and the third bin might get three balls, and then zero, one, two, so two, one, zero. So that's the first uh, set of outcome, and then the <coughs> the first bin might get one ball, right? And this get zero, this get two, one, one, one. Then one, two, zero. Okay, and the third. Um, so the other outcome would look like this. Uh, I get two balls. This one might get none. This one get one. And that's the last outcome. So there are um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 outcomes, okay? So suppose I say I let uh, x, let random variable x equals number of empty bins, okay? So in this case, uh, let me write it in red. So this case, uh, number of empty bins is two. This In this case, the number of empty bins is how many? Bins is uh, one, one, and two. So these are the outcomes, and these are the value of the random variable x for each outcome. And if you want to find out the expected value of x, we need to figure out the probability that we would get, you know, each of these outcomes, right? Okay. So let's uh, think about it for a minute. All right, I have uh, calculated all the probability that you get each outcome. To figure out, uh, you, you should try to figure out how, how these numbers are from, okay? And from this, we can uh, figure out the expected value of x from the definition. So let's write it here. Okay, so it's uh, so the the possible value of x is one, two, three, and zero. Okay, so it's a uh, expected. So the expected value of x equals uh, zero times probability that x equals zero plus one times probability that x equals one plus two times probability that x equals two. And finally, three plus x equals three. Okay, but uh, this is zero. And you know that there's, there's no, it's, it's impossible to have three empty bins, right? So this is zero as well. So this is one times the probability that uh, uh, x equals one, so which is uh, where are they? So it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six cases. Okay, so it's going to be six times th three plus uh, how many cases that we get to one, right? Two and three, so two times three times each of these occur with probably one over twenty-seven. Okay, that's the the expected value that we get. Uh, so this is uh, eighteen plus one over 
plus what is this? Uh, this is six. That's equal to uh, what is that? Uh, twenty uh, twenty-four seven. So that's uh, eight o oh nine. So that's the expected value of the number of empty bins. So that's that's how we figure out the expected value of the num uh, empty bins by just following the definitions. Okay. Um, the reason we the expected uh, value or expectation is uh, something that we really like. Expectation is that we have because we have this. Um, so what we have is this property of expectation. This is called linearity of expectation. It says that if you have for any random variable x and y, the expectation of, of x plus y. Okay, so the expectation of the sum equals the sum of the expectation. And this this generalizes to uh, more than one, more than two variables. If you have a set of the sum of a, a finite uh, set of random variables, you can use this as well. And 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 this this thing is really helpful when we would like to uh, compute expectation. Okay. And we will we'll see example in in when we talk about the high.